Yo, what's up, everybody? Cardboard Moses, what you welcome? It's time to do a little box break. 2018 Stars and Stripes Baseball one box team random number 19. All right, let's roll the die because we do need to uh, do this stuff all random like. So we're gonna go five times in the random. And there's uh, all the uh, stuff on the screen. So first, we're gonna random the names. And then the teams, bots, five times each, and then we'll match them up and see what we got. And the money shot five. Boom, five times. Copy that. Paste it there. Now the team spots. And five times on that. See who gets what. Money shot five. Boom. Copy that. Paste it there. Do do do. Do a little formatization. And let's put that on the screen for you. You know, David, I got one better for you. I obviously I'm biased, but I think LeBron should have never left Miami. If LeBron had never left Miami, you know, D-Wade is still serviceable. You know, he would have been, you know, six-man coming off the bench. Chris Bosh probably never would have had those issues with the blood clots. And it's Miami, dude. We could attract free agents in Miami. So I think he should have never left Miami. But, of course, I'm biased. All right, anyway, Alex has the college spot. Louise has the 17-under spot. Uh, Blob, the Chinese Taipei spot. David, the 18-under Joe Paul, the 14 under and the 15 under spots. Let's see what we get. Not for nothing, I mean, Miami, you know, Miami, he won his first championships in Miami. Uh, and he, Miami was the first organization that, you know, actually went above and beyond to surround him with talent that he actually needed. He never had that support in Cleveland. Even when he went back to Cleveland, he didn't get that support. You know, they were just lucky that they drafted Kyrie Irving, you know, when LeBron, you know, when LeBron left. You know, but they, they never surrounded Kyrie with talent, you know, his time there. Uh, and they did, you know, they really didn't do the same with uh, when LeBron got there. They signed Kevin Love and they kind of just plugged in pieces here and there. Whereas in Miami, dude, we went above and beyond for that guy. But see now, Richard, this is where I, this is where I think him going to the Sixers would have been a terrible idea. If it was LeBron and Embiid, awesome. But they got Simmons there. Simmons needs the ball to be effective. Ben Simmons cannot shoot a free throw. He can't shoot a three. All his shots are are at the basket. So, him and LeBron would not have been a good combo. Whereas Jimmy Butler, you know, he's a he's a he can play off the ball. He he's a slasher. So that 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 works that works well. LeBron and Ben Simmons on the same team, on the floor at the same time, would not work in my opinion. They're basically the same player, except Ben Simmons cannot make a jumper to save his life. Joseph Collier for the 14 under spot. The Reddick autograph. Numbered 3 of 10. I like I like what the Sixers are doing now, not for nothing. I, I think they're on the right track. They definitely don't need LeBron. They never needed LeBron really. They just had to surround Ben Simmons and Embiid with some shooters. Casey Mize to 4.99, the on-card collegiate national team autograph. There you go. So the college spot getting a hit. Seth Beer to 2.99, collegiate national team patch auto.
Ryan Milade, 1099 for the 18 under spot. Not a hit, but it is a numbered card. John Olsen, on card auto to 499 for the collegiate national team. College national team has three hits already. Sheesh. There should be one more in here, though. And there it is. Braden Shoemake also for the collegiate national team. Wow. Four hits all to the college spot. There you go, Alex. Now, for those of you that did not get a hit, you do have a chance to advance uh, to the last box break of this, which would be number 20. So I got everyone's name here. Just going to copy it. We went five times in the random, so let's just stick with that. Let's put that on the screen. Here we go. So these are the folks that did not get a hit. They could win. A, uh, they could win a spot in the next box break of this stuff. Let's see who's gonna be going five times. Good luck, y'all. Here we go. And the money shot five. Boom! Five times. The blob. So unfortunately, couldn't get you a hit in this break, my man. But, you do have a spot in the next box break of this stuff, which would be the last and final box, box number 20. Alright, so let's do a little recap here. So there was the Ryan Velade 18-under, 299. For the collegiate spot, we got Braden, uh, Braden Shoemake, 499 auto. John Olsen, 499. Seth Beer, with the patch to 299, Casey Mize 499, and for the 14 under spot, Joseph Collier number three of ten, and that's gonna do it for the break. Thank you, everyone.